Hey guys, I'm just going to do a quick little video regarding this 43 inch The Frame Samsung TV. I've seen a few people on the reviews have had the same problem that I'm having and I think I've worked out what it is with the sensor. So you can see in the bedroom now it's it's pretty light. It's probably showing a lot, a bit lighter than what it actually is. But if I walk past the TV, the artwork is not coming on, which the sensor should be picking me up and turning the artwork on. Um, this has virtually happened since I got it out of the box. I've been on several phone calls with Samsung and had to do the whole reset and all the rest of the crap that you've got to do and go through before they believe you it's actually a problem. Um, in the end, they sent out a, a tech guy he looked at it and said that he thinks the sensor actually had a fault and was going to replace the sensor, which I wasn't happy with seeing as though it was a brand new TV, so I asked for a complete replacement, which I got. Now, put the new TV in, same problem. Um, the TV will work during the middle of the day sometimes when I'm tipping the sunlight is a little bit higher when it comes in. So I think the first problem is obviously the sensor, the because it's in dark mode because I want the artwork to go off when we go to bed I think the sensor settings are way too um, savage for what it thinks dark time is because at the moment it's obviously thinking it's dark if I walk past it it's not coming on um, now even when I turn the bedroom lights on which got uh, LED lights in here you can see how bright it is I walk past and again she's not coming on now, when it happened the second time, and I realised that maybe it wasn't a fault um, with the first TV, I, I noticed this little, you can see the shadow underneath the TV, because the lights are actually, if I get back here a bit, you can see where the downlight is there, it's casting a shadow onto the actual sensor. Now, if you look under here, Samsung have mounted the sensor right underneath and at the back, which is pretty ridiculous really it should be right at the front of the TV or on top of the TV maybe so I can get maximum light and see well, but not be tucked behind the actual frame um, so when I saw this shadow I thought shit maybe it's actually thinking that it's still dark even though in here at the moment as you can see it's bright as bright I've got four down lights going so I got um, my wife's little makeup mirror and thought I'm gonna try directing some of the light from the down lights up to the sensor so if I do that now it's pretty much sitting on the sensor now let me just adjust that probably a little bit better there so you can see the actual light is doing it and bang she comes on all of a sudden it's sensing me so <clears throat> It's a bloody ridiculous uh, solution, but I'm thinking if I want this TV to work whenever I actually want it to work, I'm either going to have to put some sort of uh, magnifying lens to the front of this to bring it right up to the front of the actual frame, which is not ideal. Um, maybe a glass top on, on top of the, the tall boy here, which again is not friggin' ideal. But, you know, we're, we're looking at a high-end TV and we want it for the artwork. Um, so, it's pretty piss poor we have to do this, but it looks like it's my only solution apart from sending the unit back, which I really don't want to do. I'll, um, I'll close these curtains now. Just so we go. It'll think that it's night time again. Alright, so we're in full darkness in the room now, and it's been operating perfect, but it actually does turn itself off after about 10 seconds or so, so we'll wait for that to come out. There we go, she's gone off. Again, this room is pretty dark now, so I think the, um, the phone's making up for it a bit. Uh, but I'll turn the lights back on now and sometimes we do it does kick back in but most of the time it goes back to its default where it thinks 
but it's still night because of that shadow. So you see the shadow there, I can walk past it. Once again, she's doing nothing. Could have spent bloody $200 on the TV if I wanted artwork like this. So yeah, I mean, that is the issue with this TV. Um, I do have the 65 inch in the lounge room. Uh, I might take you out and show you that because I'm not sure if people are having the problem with the 65 inch. But with that, uh, the sensor is actually in the center here. It, it mounts to the bottom. It's like a clear sensor. And you can actually grab it and drop it down, which brings it a little bit further under the TV. And since I did that, I no longer have the problem on that. Unfortunately, with this baby, that little infrared sensor there is completely fixed and there is absolutely nothing I can do about it, um, apart from the options that I just stated before. So I'll take it out. I'll show you the 65 quickly, just in case you're here because of a 65 problem. All right, so here's my 65 inch. You can see it's working nicely and it has so ever since i dropped this little sensor down um so you'll see how she's hanging down a bit and you'll see just in the middle here there's a little tab so if i push that up which is probably how you're going to get it from samsung all you're going to do is push this little tab and the thing drops down um I've heard other people saying, I think it might be because of the bezels that you put on, it just drops it down that little bit more, but below me dropping it down, gives it a bit more of a chance to grab some more light. And since I've done that, I have never had a problem with just these lights that are on the side here. <clears throat> is enough for it to turn off and on with the sensor. Um, and obviously when it's dark enough, she goes out anyway. So yeah, that's a little hack for the 65. And the only way I can get this baby to keep on working is for the mirror. So, as I said before, I hope that helps. Hopefully, maybe someone from Samsung will see this and redesign this little sucker so it sits further out. Uh, nobody else has to deal with this. I think in bigger rooms, you'll never have a problem, but in a small, what is it, three and a half, four meter by four meter bedroom, with downlights so close and that shadow getting cast, it really is an issue. So awesome if they could fix it. Thanks again, guys. Hope it helps somebody. Ciao for now.